Hi there guys welcome back to my channel this is your friend and tutor Manas Patnaik well guys this time around we're going to be dealing with cycloidal curves but what the hell is a cycloidal curve well these curves are generated by a fixed point on the circumference of a circle circle may be rolling along a straight line the circle may be rolling outside a circle the circle may be rolling inside a circle i mean guys these are the three conditions uh, with which we're going to be working and classifying these so called cycloidal curves but in all the three cases you're going to see that the object is a circle with a point on its circumference so let's see all of these curves one by one and the first curve that we're going to deal with is what you call a cycloid so let's have the definition of cycloid here it is a cycloid is the curve generated by a point p on the circumference of a circle so there is a point p on the circumference of a circle which moves along the straight line all right without slipping now this particular circle is rolling along a straight line without slipping and we need to keep a track of a certain point so let's say we have a point over here this red point you see all right and this is the circle having a diameter d rolling in the clockwise sense and suppose this circle completes one revolution the horizontal distance it's going to travel will be equal to the circumference that is going to be pi d fine so let's move ahead and let's see where this point goes we we're going to keep a track of this point all right and after having tracked this point we're going to join all those points with the help of a smooth curve so let's see how it goes fine so let's say that the circle has moved forward and this point will now arrive here let's give one more rotation it comes over here and the circle keeps on rolling the points moves further uh, right hand side and also to the top something like this please keep a watch all right all right that's it now you observed initially for the first half revolution this point was moving towards the right as well as it gained height okay but for the next half revolution it gained horizontal distance but it lost height fine and this is what you call the track points and when you join all these points with the help of a smooth curve you're going to have a curve that in fact is going to be called a cycloid okay i'm going to show you what it is so this is what you call a cycloid fine guys so this was the circle rolling along a straight line now this a uh, circle in fact is also this rolling circle there is also one more name to this uh, we can also call this as a generating circle in some of the books you'll find that this is called as a rolling circle in some books you'll find it as a generating circle so not to be worried about and uh, this horizontal line is also referred to as a directing line now let's move forward and now let's deal with what you call an epicycloid fine let's have the definition well this is the curve generated by a point p again on the circumference of a circle which rolls outside a circle now there are two circles in this particular case one is the circle which is rolling and the other one that is the directing circle which is fixed okay so let's start and let's have a circle this one is what you call the directing circle above which we're going to have a rolling circle okay let me show you how it is so this is uh, directing circle is having a diameter t and somewhere here we're going to have a rolling circle something like this please watch carefully this is going to have a diameter small d okay so this is the rolling circle fine let's move ahead let's say that this rolling circle is rolling in the clockwise sense fine something like this let's start from this point so this is the point p on the circumference on this circumference we have this point p it rolls down this point p reaches here fine this process goes on this point p comes here goes on goes on it will come over here and let's move forward at the apex now it will start to come down okay so this is for the first half revolution fine let's keep it going keep it going keep it going and finally when one revolution is complete then this point this is the start this is the end and that's what you call an epicycloid fine rolling in the clockwise sense but outside the given circle also known as the directing circle one more thing that you guys must realize that we started from this point and we ended over here and there is some kind of an angle which has been subtended at the center of the directing circle fine and this angle can also be computed with a simple formula 360 multiplied by small d over capital d or small r over capital r so this is how you can actually find the angle subtended at the center of the directing circle for one revolution of the rolling or generating circle so this guys was all about epicycloid remember epicycloid rolling circle is rolling outside the directing circle in the clockwise sense as far as drawing is concerned you're going to have to 
make only this portion okay so this much portion has to be eliminated something like this all right so when you are whenever you are making an epicyclide you need to make only this portion that's it now let's move towards hypocycloid let's see what it has in store for us well hypocyclide is the curve generated again the definition is same but the only difference being it rolls inside a circle all right fixed circle is directing and the rolling circle is moving all right so let's do this so this is capital d with this as the radius we're going to have a circle that's it and inside which we're going to make a rolling circle something like this so that's the rolling circle now let's say this rolling circle wants to start from this position and end up somewhere here uh, having a revolution one revolution in fact in that case it's going to be revolving in an anti clockwise sense all right something like this let me show you how anti clockwise so this is the point p upon which we need to keep a track on and as we move forward you're going to see that this point p is moving in certain a certain direction something like this please keep on watching that's it anti clockwise sense we keep on moving and here we have the final point all right now let us join all these points in sequence we're going to have what do you call a hypocyclic again the angle subtended over here is going to be the formula for that angle is going to be same as we saw in the case of epicycloid so that's exactly what you call a hypocycloid all right guys so this is the portion which you need to make that's it so guys that was all from my side if you have any doubts or queries to write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them as quickly as possible and guys if you believe that this video has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of you can learn engineering drawing in the best possible way so this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing